At the Book Brahma Literary Festival 2024, we have with us a retired IG and former IPS officer, who was also the former Commissioner of Police, Mysuru City, uh, Mr. C. Chandrasekhar. Thank you so much for speaking to South First, sir. You participated in a session titled uh, The Literary World of Policing. The literary world of policing, what's that according to you, sir? How would you define that? You see, normally the conception of a police policeman is that he is so far away from literacy, he is so far away from literary activities, mm -hmm. he is so far away from culture of, uh, of an existing situation. So the normal impressions of a policeman are that you know, he is a, uh, an unrefined person uh, who has no interest in uh, literary activities and other aspects uh, that throw light on art and artists. But then this is not wholly true. This is not wholly true. There are many people uh, who have the sensitivity to react to human situations. And some of them are, not many of them may have written, but then to say that uh, policemen and uh, writing uh, do not go together. So I'm not an author as yet. I've only written one book, one book, and uh, this is what I mentioned. Writing one book does not qualify the writer uh, in me. But then the fact is that there are many officers and men in the police who have this sensitivity to react to human situations and write about them which remains a kind of a document uh, in the society. How do you view the new age media today, uh, podcasts, true crime stories, e-books? What's your view on that? Well, uh, one likes to uh, read or hear about crime. So there is a, a lot of thrill. So you want to go through that. Uh, I remember the days uh, when I read Frederick Fawcett's uh, The Day of the Jackal, I couldn't put down the book. I couldn't put down the book. And a few years later, wherever you went, you only saw people reading the uh, Da Vinci Code. And it is another book which you can't put down. But my question is, would you go back to that book? Would you read it again after you have once read it? Hmm? No, I mean, this is a kind of a question I'm asking other people. So once you know who is who, who, who done it, when that question is answered, that, doesn't, that book doesn't uh, invite you again. Uh, that book doesn't interest you anymore. But on the other hand, look at a book like, let us say, a Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. I have read it 15 times, at least 15 times, and if I should read it now, I will find uh, newer aspects which I hadn't seen earlier. Uh, and uh, if you look at a book like Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky, yeah. then I could still read it. I could still read it and look at the human predicament and uh, Sonia and Roskolnikov, how uh, love as a value uh, could remain uh, very functional uh, in, 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 in human life. So that kind of a thing you can't associate with uh, thrillers. Thrillers are there for you to read and uh, it's like a railway timetable. So once that information is made available to you, uh, it's no longer of any value to you. But it doesn't happen with writers like James Joyce. It doesn't happen with writers like uh, Dostoevsky. And surely it doesn't happen with writers like Ken Foley. So my final question is, do you continue to gatekeep information after all these years, after you've retired? Do officers, uh, senior IPS officers, continue to do that? For me, 
information in itself is not of value unless you are able to uh, project it in the proper perspective. For instance, on my book uh, on the Kaveri dispute, I have said that Karnataka also has a claim which were not acknowledged by the powers that be uh, for over 200 years. And what has been happening now is that uh, it has a history of over 200 years. And this state, for political reasons, was not in a position to establish its claims because of historical realities. So now that historical and political realities have changed, so it's time for us to have a really look at it and uh, find out how exactly we can go about it.